some healthcare workers at state run facilities who don't get the COVID 19 vaccine may be able to stay employed. Governor Dan McKee made the comments in his weekly briefing, adding that he's looking to keep them in jobs at the state level. 12 News reporter Alexandra Leslie joins us live in Providence, where the briefing wrapped up earlier this afternoon. Alex? Well, Shannon, Governor McKee says when it comes to these state-run facilities like the Eleanor Slater Hospital and the Rhode Island Veterans Home, the state is still working on getting them to be 100% compliant with this mandate, but that he also doesn't want to see these people lose their jobs. Rhode Island's vaccine mandate for health care workers at all state licensed facilities has been in place for five days now. And it's back to the question about what are we going to do with people who are not going to get vaccinated that are in spaces that we believe they should be he as healthy as they can to provide healthy health care. To start, Governor McKee said he's hoping workers at the state run facilities can be given other options in the state if they choose not to get the shot. And that, and if we can actually have some lateral move by, you know, during the time frame. Uh, that we get past the uh, the delta, which was the reason right for the for the executive you know the executive order was the delta and McKee says in the other areas the state doesn't manage the Department of Labor and Training will be available to find some sort of temporary placement. We should be able to figure out a way to take those people who are unvaccinated and keep them employed, let them pay, make sure they can pay their bills and and um, keep that family safe. The vaccine mandate also applies to EMTs. According to the president of Rhode Island State Association of Firefighters, nearly 97% of its roughly 1,500 members are vaccinated. McKee says he's encouraged cities and towns to take the health department's guidance when it comes to getting everyone the shot. In terms of the um, the 30-day type of strategy to get into 100% compliance, uh, and I think that most have. Now, Governor McKee says right now the state is fourth best in terms of rate of vaccinations. The latest state health data shows about 88% of adults have at least one shot. Live in Providence, Alexandra Leslie, 12 News.